The Williamson County Sheriff's Office checking in with the registered sex offenders in the county. Just to be sure that they are within their compliance according to their court order. We rode along with Detective Moore to see how these checks are done. Tonight, um, my partner and I will conduct compliance checks at five residents. Before our first stop, Detective Moore briefed us on what they look for. Their compliance checklist is basically for us is to be sure that they are living where they say that they are living and they are driving the vehicles that they have registered to have that belongs to them as well as um, employment to be sure they are working where they say that they're working. Our first stop took us to someone who wasn't home. Detective Moore says this happens from time to time, and in these cases, they leave the home with an orange sticker on the door. Basically stating them that they have 48 hours to contact the sheriff's office and provide their information. Failing to contact the sheriff's office after that amount of time could lead to some problems. Our next stop, the person was home. Still driving the same ones? Yeah, it should be a Corvette. Okay. And Corvette. Got it. 97 Lexus. Got it. Perfect. Overall, the process lasted a couple minutes before they were on to the next person. In total, Williamson County has 219 registered sex offenders. While the county normally does checks like this in the fall and spring, they're now going to be doing monthly random checks. We would like to give the community a sense of protection as well as them having knowledge that, hey, we are out here doing our due diligence. You know, sex offenders do have their, their rights, but we have to do our due diligence to be sure that they are within compliance. As long as the sex offender stays compliant, the sheriff's office says they don't have any issues. Those who fail risk going back to jail or prison.